we'll take a look at the simple square fold. Often, simplicity is the ultimate elegance, which makes the simple square fold a beautiful fold to use. It is uncomplicated and classic. Step 1. Start by placing a square, clean and neat napkin onto a clean, flat surface with its hems facing upwards. Step 2. Fold both the left and right edge of the napkin inwards, leaving a small gap down the center of the fold. This will make the next step easier and neater. Step 3. Fold the napkin in half again, leaving a neat step down the side. Step 4. You can now fold the top of the napkin down to just over halfway of the center of the napkin. And lastly, step 5. Fold the bottom edge up over the top edge and turn the napkin around. Notice how this hides the hems of the napkin and looks much neater than simply folding it over once. This is another classic, elegant fold which is very easy to do. Step 1. Place a neat, clean, square napkin on a flat surface with its hems facing upwards. Step 2. Fold the napkin from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner, forming a neat triangle. Step 3. Fold the right hand corner over to the left, but at a slight angle, creating two points. And lastly, step 4. Fold the bottom corner over, creating a third point. This corner won't be a perfect corner like the other two. It's as easy as that. The pyramid fold is also a simple fold, but also adds some height to the table setting. Step 1. Place a neat, clean, square napkin on a flat surface, with its hems facing upwards. Step 2. Fold the napkin from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner, forming a neat triangle. Step 3. Take each of the top corners of the triangle and fold them in towards the point of the triangle, forming a neat square. Step 4. Carefully turn the napkin over. Step 5. Fold the top corner down towards you. And lastly, step 6. Prop the napkin by folding the right and left corners back towards each other. The cutlery fold as the name suggests, is used to hold cutlery. This is a great fold to use when serving guests outside the restaurant environment, such as by the poolside or with lounge service. Step 1. Place a neat, clean, square napkin on a flat surface, with its hems facing down towards the table. When the fold is finished, the hems will be hidden. Step 2. Take the two bottom corners and fold the napkin in half. Make sure to press the fold, but touch the napkin as little as possible. Step 3. Fold the napkin in half again, this time from the left to the right. Step 4. Fold the first corner down diagonally to meet the opposite bottom corner. Make sure to press the fold and that the napkin stays square. Also. Make sure that the bottom lines up perfectly, otherwise the end fold will be untidy. Step 5. Fold the next corner down in the same way, this time leaving a border between the first and second corner. Step 6. Do the same with the third corner. Step 7. You can lift the top two corners and tuck the first corner under the first flap as though into a pocket. Do the same with the third corner. Tuck it under the second flap. Make sure that the diagonal lines are even. Step
Step 8. Carefully turn the whole napkin around. Step 9. Fold the left side over a third of the way. Step 10. Fold the right side over, neatly tucking the corner into the left side, like this. This helps to hold the fold. And lastly, step 11. When you turn the napkin around, you now have beautiful diagonal folds to place the cutlery into. Hang on! If you have a keen eye for detail, you would have noticed a mistake in this lesson. There was a stain on the napkin right here. If you notice a stain when you're folding napkins, be sure to replace it with a clean one. Bread pouch fold. Just like the cutlery fold, the bread pouch napkin fold has a particular purpose. To line the plate or basket on which you present bread to the guest. Step 1. Start with a square, clean and neat napkin placed on a flat surface with the hems facing upwards. Step 2. Fold the left hand side of the napkin into the center of the square and do the same with the right hand side, making sure that they meet evenly in the middle. Step 3. Fold the left hand side of the napkin all the way over to the right hand side, leaving you with a long, narrow folded napkin. Step 4. Fold both the bottom and the top ends of the napkin over. How far these need to be tucked in is determined by the length of your basket or plate. Step 5. Flip the napkin over so that only the neat side shows. See how this fold creates a sleeve to place slices of bread in. Step 6. You can now place the napkin onto the breadboard. And lastly, step 7. Lift up the lip of the fold to open the pocket where your bread can then be placed neatly. This fold is often used to display items such as water bottles or jugs of juice. Step 1. Start with a square, clean and neat napkin placed on a flat surface with the hem facing downwards. Step 2. Fold the napkin in half, upwards. Step 3. Fold the right corner down, towards the center of the napkin. Repeat this with the left hand corner, to form a triangle. Step 4. Carefully turn the napkin over, ensuring that the folds stay in place. Step 5. Fold the remaining two corners upwards, towards the center of the napkin, also forming a triangle. Step 6. Unfold this top triangle to create a diamond shape, with all the corners tucked under the napkin. Step 7. Take each corner and fold it to the center of the napkin, again creating a square. Step 8. Use the item you will be displaying to weigh down the corners. Here comes the tricky part. Step 9. Carefully slide your hand underneath the napkin and pull back the corner slightly to create this artful double corner. The petals of the lily. Be careful not to pull it back too far since the top fold will lose its shape. What a beautiful way to display juice. Good luck practicing this fold. This is another intricate napkin fold that will take some practice. Let's take a look at how to make this amazing linen bird. Step 1. Start with a clean, square napkin, hems facing up. Step 2. Fold the bottom corners over to fold the napkin in half. Step 3. Now fold the napkin in half again, from left to right. Step 4. Fold the bottom closed corner over diagonally to make a triangle. Step 5. Flip the napkin over so that the open corners are on top. Step 6. Fold the right corner of the triangle down towards you 
so that the fold is in the middle of the napkin. Step 7. Do the same with the left hand corner to make a diamond shape. Step 8. Tuck the bottom corners under the napkin to make a long triangle. And lastly, step 9. Fold this triangle in half. You can now carefully pull up the points of the napkin. When arranging the points, make sure that the bottom corner stays as straight as possible. The bishop's hat is an impressive fold, but will take some practice. Let's take a look at the steps. Step 1. Start with a clean, square napkin, hems facing up. Step 2. Take the two top corners and fold the napkin in half. Step 3. Take the top right hand corner and fold it down towards the center of the napkin. Step 4. Take the bottom left hand corners and fold them over to the top middle. Step 5. Flip the napkin over. Careful to keep the folds in place. Step 6. Now here comes the tricky part. Fold the bottom edge over to meet the top edge, but leave the bottom triangle unfolded. This will form one of the peaks of the hat. Step 7. Untuck the other corner on the right to make the other peak. Step 8. Lift the right hand flap and tuck the far left corner underneath. Step 9. Flip the napkin over again and tuck the far right hand corner under the left hand flap, like this. And lastly, step 10. When you're ready to set the napkin at the table, you can prop up the bishop's hat to make it stand. Now all you need is a little bishop to put it on. The diamond fold is another beautiful fold that you can use to add an elegant touch to any setting. Step 1. Place a neat, clean, square napkin on a flat surface with its hems facing up. Step 2. Take the two bottom corners and fold the napkin in half. Step 3. Fold the napkin in half again, this time from the left to the right. Step 4. Fold the first corner down diagonally, but not all the way to the bottom corner. Leave about a 1cm border between the two corners. Step 5. Fold the next corner down in the same way, again leaving a border between the two corners. Make sure that all the borders are even. Step 6. Do the same with the third and fourth corner. Step 7. Carefully turn the napkin over and rotate so that the top of the triangle is furthest from you. Step 8. Take the corners of the napkin and fold it up and towards the center to form a diamond. Finally, step 9. Turn the napkin over. Absolutely beautiful. The rosebud is another upright fold that gives height to the setting. Step 1. Place a neat, clean, square napkin with its hems facing upwards onto a flat surface. Step 2. Fold the napkin diagonally from the bottom to the top. Step 3. Fold the right and left corners up to form a neat square. Step 4. Turn the napkin over with the open corners towards the top. Step 5. Fold the bottom corner up to just over halfway. Finally, step 6. Fold the right and left corners under. Well done on finishing all of the napkin folds.